we go to the fire package registry. Now this is new within the last three or four months. Um, if you're familiar with simplifier.net where you used to go get conformance resources, uh, they were involved in creating this page. And in this case, we're just gonna search for the package we need, which is the DaVinci drug formulary. We'll search and there's our result. So this is a package, a fire package containing the implementation guide. Because it's an NPM package, I have a, a command here that I can copy. Go into my prompt, run the NPM command, and it's going to install the conformance resource JSON files to my local disk. Now, if we wanted to take a look at those, uh, there they are on disk. And in this case, there's a search parameter, JSON file. And the resource type is search parameter. That's the conformance resource. If you go down here, the code is drug plan. The code is what you actually put in your URL as your search parameter. And if you look at the expression, the path that it's using, what field the search parameter is searching on, you can see it's the plan ID extension, which we saw on the medication knowledge um, resource that we put into the resource repository. So now that's on local disk, let's go back to the management portal. Let's uh, make this a little bigger. And we go to the package configuration card where we import packages. You can see we already have the R4 specification package and the US core package. But now we want to add the one for the DaVinci implementation guide. So let's go to that directory. We want to upload. You can see the name is the DaVinci. Let's import those. And there it is. Now you can see that the DaVinci drug formulary uh, package has been added. So now that it's been, it's available, we want to add it to the endpoint. So we go back to server configuration. We want to edit the endpoint. So if I go to additional packages, there it is. I can now just add um, the new package to the endpoint and update. And now it's updating. Now in this demo, we're seeing how we add and use a search parameter that we're applying to the endpoint. But coming soon will be validation. And if you just think about it, uh, someone will publish a new implementation guide, it'll go to the fire package registry, grab it, apply it to an endpoint, and you can actually be validating resources against a profile within 15 minutes. So that's coming soon in this demo, we're showing how you do that with a search parameter. Now after this finishes running, we're gonna have to switch to terminal to run a second step when you add a search parameter. The reason being it's a second step, if this endpoint's been running for a while, you could have a million resources in the repo and we don't want to kick off a re-indexing of all those resources by default. We want you to be able to choose when you want to do that. So this is just finishing up. There we go. So we'll go into terminal and choose to re-index our endpoint. Because I only have two resources, we're done. So now let's go back to Postman. And remember when we tried to use this search parameter to before, before, we got the unrecognized parameter. But now if we try it again, we get one in our bundle and you can see it's the medication knowledge, the second one we put into uh, the repository and it indeed has the profile and um, 
And if you scroll down a little further, it has that 4030 my plan value in its plan ID extension field.